we're going to move on to game number two here. Riptide is now out of the match because Greg did pick up the win, so he'll definitely be on Kano for uh, at least one more game here, and we'll see if OK decides to keep Betsy or move to Katsu. So if you are in OK's position, knowing definitively that Kano is coming in, wh wh where would you be leaning right now? You know, I, if I'm thinking I'm a little hungry, I might start with the Betsy because that game is probably uh, very Kano heavy. And if you just already, I mean, at this point, I don't, I don't know how much it matters which hero you pick first. I guess, I guess the surprise factor is in the game in the first game, right? So like, Kano doesn't know which hero he's playing against first, right? Yeah, yeah. So you you so know that there's two that. different heroes. Right, but you you don't know which one is coming game one. So, so I now, think, yeah, in game one, Kano's probably like, I need to hedge against Katsu. That's going to be my harder match of the two. Uh, mm -hmm. So then maybe if he hedges against Katsu, you bring in Betsy for game one to like uh, see if you get some edge and some weird, you know, he put, I don't know, it puts put some cards in his deck just mm -hmm. to uh, spite the Katsu and it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's what I would do. I would start with Betsy. What is, what what's much, what's the end of like doing? Let's find out. We're going to game number two right now. Uh, the lovely graphics brought to you by Nate from Bold Brew Games, Thank and you, it is Katsu Whoa. and Kano. It looks like Kano starting off the game turn zero. Greg running the uh, a pretty typical. Looks like Kano equipment and and weapon with Iron Rock Gauntlet being the you know kind of the the extra little block there. Um, what does Kano what does Kano do here? Like what is what's the point of of Arcane in here? They're not going to wildfire, right? So are they just kind of? So Kano still has combos, right? So that's how he wins the game, right? He's got Blazing Aether. He's got interesting cards that you don't see all the time in Clash decks like these, like. Blessing of Aether. It's an aura that sits on the field, and at the start of your next turn, your next arcane damage, your next arcane attack uh, gets plus three. And so, like, there's combos with, like, Blessing of Aether into uh, uh, mo uh, most of the cards in these deck, and then you can, like, uh, use Mage Master Boots to give that thing go again, Blazing Aether afterwards. There's Aether Quickening. That's a card that if it deals a certain amount of damage, it actually gets go again. There's so many interesting combos you can do in this deck. Snapback exists uh, in this format. Um, so, Speaking yeah, it's still of, a combo uh, deck. It sure is. Uh, and it did deal seven damage on turn zero. Uh, Katsu not running any arcane barrier, uh, as I'm just noticing here. What? So just going to eat it all. Uh, on turn zero, turn one responds with a yellow surging strike into a blue whelming gust wave. It does have combo, so it does get the plus one on hit draw card with go again. Okay, he's got two wow. cards left in hand. They broke the cross strap in order to get the surging strike, so they haven't yeah. pitched a card yet. This card, um, but this will be a uh, this will be a race to the finish. A uh, red hundred wins as the third card on the combo chain or in the combat chain. It also getting blocked out. It has the three go again. It doesn't look like they're going to do more uh, with that turn going to Arsenal. Uh, Greg had taken, uh, he blocked a lot. So one card in hand turned out to be an energy potion. He's still one in Arsenal. Uh, it looks that's like great, a, actually. This that's is insane. A great opportunity for Katsu to gain some tempo back. 15-13 in Kano's favor. Uh, now we see the Kadachi coming in for one presumably this is interesting um thinking so about it so i'm looking at the the sideboard for uh katsu and he has a b3 but chose not to bring it i think he's like i got a full send i gotta mm -hmm. absolutely run this deck over uh with the best equipment that i could possibly bring and he's just doing that he's just trying to throw three and uh four and five card hands at him yep and he's starting this one out with be like water three go again if it hits you can pay one and change the name uh, this card to is a must block. You absolutely have to block this. It's you just, have to block. It's surging strike. It's it just is surging strike. You have to block this, right? 
Yes, uh, absolutely. We yeah. love ninja players love when you don't respect uh, the yes. uh, be like water. Uh, and Greg does in the lunging Ooh. press. We love a lunging press. Oh my ninja. gosh. The reaction gives it the plus one. It does end up hitting. Be like water can be turned into a head jab, twisting twister, or a surging strike. Uh, we are also triggering Katsu. I feel like, yeah. Uh, so you that could Katsu activate. trigger was there. And I don't know if they... It's it's hard to tell if they did or not activate Katsu, uh, but I feel like unless you have the Nat combo in your hand, you you absolutely go for it, right? So yeah, you do. You do. the lunging press is in the graveyard. I don't know if there was a second one there, but either way, Descendant Gust Wave is coming in for five go again, and it looks like Greg is taking that hit. The Mask of Many Faces. Oh, it's gonna be. Uh, you pay one as an instant destroy mask and name a card. The next attack action card you play this turn gains that name. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. Very good for. Ooh, what are we seeing here? Bonds of Ancestry. I, I, Talisher is not going to be able to tell us the name that was chosen. I don't think. Is that Moonwish? I. It does look a little like Moonwish. Did he change the name of the card to Moonwish? That would be pretty intense. Uh, we do see a Bonds. The Bonds. I wonder because he took the Whelming Gust Wave. I'm wondering if he named the Bonds he Surging named, Strike oh, so that it would come in. Yes. So the Whelming Gust Wave would get the buff. And we oh, see the Breaking gosh. Scales coming in. Oh, so four go again. Breaking Scales giving it the plus one. Go into five so he can hit and draw a card. What a savvy this is play exactly by OK. What he wants. Holy frick. Katsu, 40 card Katsu doesn't get enough respect. And. Uh, we're just, oh, it, it's over. <laughs> These oh my wound. gosh, it's over, dude. Oh, every man. single thing is hit this turn. The salt wound is for seven. He just he just top decked to this card. What an amazing just combat chain to Holy just frick. take the whole game. We went oh surging God. strike, whelming gust way, or I'm sorry, we went. Be like there was uh, there's so many things have happened. Be like water had the reaction, got the plus one, turned it to surging strike, had the descendant gust wave uh, to get the five attack, had broke the mask of many faces to change the bonds of ancestry, which still triggered as a bonds on attack, taking the whelming gust wave, renaming the bonds into a surging strike to make sure the whelming gust wave got the combo on top of that. Uh, and Greg did the thing that. You know, they just try to, uh, you know, ninjas love it when you block for exact on a combo card. And sometimes you don't have any choice and you just know that breaking scales is coming through. And that's exactly what happened there. Poking over for one, drawing a card. Uh, then we see a Kadachi add just a little insult to injury. And then finally the salt the wound coming in for seven. Greg is still trying to salvage yeah, the game he's, here. He's like, this game ain't over yet. I'm not sure he's exactly got it. I mean, he's... He's doing He's some Kano resources, yeah, Kano combo stuff to deal a little bit Katsu of arcane damage. Wins. Oh, that one but, just that one tickled cow. the cockles of my heart right there. I love some <laughs> Katsu, and that was just so. That was a creative line. That was insane. There was a lot of mental oh uh, gymnastics goodness. happening to get there. A well earned race to the finish win by OK on Katsu. Oh my gosh. Uh, taking game two of this best two out of three uh, match with uh, Greg, Darth Prentice, and OK tied up now at 1 1. So now oh we know gosh. that we're going to see Kano versus Betsy. 